Hi everyone, Eric at Retro Handheld Guides, and today we are going to be taking a look at GameCube emulation on the Ambernic RG556. For the most part, I was genuinely impressed with GameCube performance on the Ambernic RG556. Most of the games ran just fine out of the box at 2x resolution on the latest official Dolphin development build. In my initial impressions video, I noted that not every GameCube game was able to run out of the box and, while that is still true, in my testing I found a few tweaks that we can apply that will help to get the, those additional few extra games running at an acceptable state. After the intro I'll show you some of my settings and then, as always, we will dive into the gameplay. So let's get started. Alright, so first let's take a quick look at my settings for my GameCube emulation. Uh, what you want to do is just open up your Dolphin emulator. I'm using the official Dolphin development build. I click on the gear icon, and from there this is going to set your overall graphics. Uh, so for my graphics settings, I have uh, OpenGL backend. Um, and one thing you want to do that's not enabled by default is just compile shaders before starting. So that'll help uh, smooth out some of the gameplay uh, when it first starts uh, loading your games. The next thing you want to do is scroll down to the more section and look for the uh, hacks. Under hacks, uh, just leave all these ones as default, that's what I've done. Uh, but down near the bottom you'll find a hack called the VBI skip. Uh, just make sure that one's enabled. So that'll help smooth out the gameplay for those games that don't necessarily run at full speed um, in our skipping frames. So this will help uh, smooth that out and help the games run uh, pretty well. So those are my standard settings. Um, those hacks that I promised you that'll help uh, get some of those additional games running. One of them I found that really helped was for the Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, you saw in my initial impressions video that that one was not running at full speed and was actually uh, pretty slow. So if you long click on the Need for Speed Most Wanted and you go to the Edit Game Settings, one of the settings that I found that can help is under the Config. Now this is done at a per game level uh, so that you don't have these affecting all of your games uh, under your config. If you go down to advanced, scroll down near the bottom and you'll see a section called synchronized GPU thread. So for synchronized GPU thread, by default this is on idle skip. What I've done for this game in particular is set it to never. Uh, that helps to get the game running at a pretty good level, um, certainly playable at 2x resolution uh, in my testing. Now don't do this for all the games as you can see here it tells you selecting this never is risky and not recommended so don't do that for all the games uh, there is the possibility that the uh, cores will uh, desync and you'll get uh, strange errors um, and crash uh, so that's why it's uh, risky to set this for all games but uh, in my testing I found that it worked pretty well for need for speed most wanted so on a per game set, uh, level if you find that some games are just running too slow, give that one a try and that will uh, potentially help you get uh, some additional games up and running. Otherwise, for the most part, uh, my settings are pretty default uh, and uh, so let's take a look at some of the gameplay for the RG556 uh, on GameCube.
perfectly. That was sensational. Second down. Now yeah. set to go. Winner, the Bruins, right in the breadbasket. And he is brought down high.